everyone and welcome back to the time shot server where we are here with my my little ones mellow meadow wax and turkey tail and they're still doing good lily is here with one of the stray dogs and one of our puppies and we even have a special guest for the day lily get him go for it my pups go where does he think he's going huh yeah where are you going you can't turn my kids into into food get out of here shoot shoot Shoo! I like I like the fact that he's dressed head to toe in gold and didn't leave any of it behind for us. That's fine. That's fine. I mean, it's not like I wanted that or anything. <sighs> oh, I heard. I hear our little Piku. I hear Whirly. In fact, why don't we work on building Whirly a better enclosure just right here? Because Whirly is just sort of trapped. Uh, also, it looks like plenty of wheat out there to collect. Whew. So as usual, there's so much to do, but how are you guys doing today? I just got back in from running around and around and around, around and around and around, Whirly. Uh, kind of just kicking a soccer ball back and forth so that I could get uh, a little bit of, of like energy pumping and I could really kind of get my heart rate up because I feel like I sit way too much every day. If you've been following my vlog channel, you know I've been talking about that lately. My goal is 10,000 steps a day. And to my horror, when I checked the day that I announced that was going to be one of my goals, I realized I was only going 300 steps a day, just like basically from my bedroom to to like my, my, um, I, think I should take this thing apart. I was basically just walking from my bedroom down to my office, like my little, my little chair, my birds, and maybe out to the secret garden. And that was it. And that is, that is unacceptable, unacceptable, my friends. So yeah, we're going to build Whirly a home and I'm going to catch my breath. Uh, but I just think it's, it's really important to be able to keep your body moving human bodies were made to move, but that doesn't mean you have to go to the gym and like kill yourself on the machines. It doesn't mean you have to be angry if you didn't do so many, so many of this rep on that level and, and some such and so on. It just means you got to give yourself like, oh, how do I put it? I feel you just have to be happy. If you're moving and you're happy while you're moving, then you are on the right path. And my gosh, there's so much clutter. I know we're collecting rotten flesh to trade to mellow meadow wax too, which is very exciting. So yeah, I'm, I, I think I'll feel better if I move. I know I'll feel better if I move. I was a nursing student. I find nutrition actually is a, a fascinating subject for me because food has always been like so confusing to me. <laughs> it really has. So I, I study nutrition kind of for fun, to be honest. Hi, Pup Pup. Why are you so sad face? I have no food for you. You are so sad face. Oh, his little tail is down too. Oh, I'm sorry, Mellow Meadowax. The puppy needs food. But yeah, like, there you go, little pup pup. Oh, his so little happy tail is up now. That makes me feel better. That makes me feel much better. All right, Whirly, hang on. I'm going to build you. I'm, I'm like getting it in my, getting it in my mind's eye. I'm going to build Whirly a beautiful little garden just right here. You'll have a little waterfall, Whirly. What do you think about that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Little pigu waterfall. I think we'll do kind of what we did over here, mixing... The, the leaves and the fencing, since that seems to hold out the zombies and other other creatures who may wish to eat you, Whirly. We'll have to get Whirly, like, maybe a girlfriend. Charlotte. I'll get Charlotte the second, since someone apparently uh, eliminated Charlotte the first. All right, Pup Pup, you need to move. Your, your name's Popeye the Pup. Popeye the Pup, because it sounds really ridiculously adorable and cute. Let's see, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put some leaves right there, don't worry. But yeah, I don't, I'm not like a health fitness uh, aficionado of any, of any sort. I've always struggled with uh, like my health and my, my sense of what to eat. It was really hard like to try to, to eat healthy growing up because we didn't have food. <laughs> so you ate whatever was available to you. And often that was like just a bunch of starch. We got a lot of donated Panera bread all the time growing up and there would be a giant bag, like a giant trash bag, uh, that it was clean, you know, but they would fill up the Panera bread inside that trash bag and that was dinner. <laughs> and so, you know, it's really hard to go like, you need to get your balanced amount of vegetables when you can't even afford to keep the hot water on. So that was kind of, it was an interesting, uh, interesting experience. I actually didn't have my first uh, like avocado and I didn't have my first mango until I moved in with my aunt in my 20s and I was totally stunned because uh, I was like what is this 
It tastes so good. I didn't know food could be so good. Popeye. Popeye, you're in the way, little one. No, I'm going to name you Pumpkin. Pumpkin's a cuter name than Popeye. There we go. And we'll give Whirly, like... Yeah, and I'll put a little gate right here so we can get in and out with Whirly. And I'll put some leaves right there. Hang on, Whirly. It's almost time to unveil your grand, beautiful, beautiful little habitat. All right, I need to go get a gate. A little fence gate. But, yeah. So, how did I get there? Oh, I was talking about how I was kicking a soccer ball around. Basically, I want to move more, uh, especially because I work from home now. I used to, like, what stunned me about having only walked 300 steps the other day is that I used to walk, like, 17, 20,000 a day because of my jobs. I would go to school at university, and I would go to two different jobs, and I would go home and work another job, helping out as the nanny. And I was carrying heavy bags of dog food uh, at my work, so it was just stunning when I was like, oh, I should probably just see, like, ha dee da dee da uh, what my steps are now that I work from home as a YouTuber. And, oh my gosh, I'm beginning to see why so many YouTubers, like, are obsessive about going to the gym and things like that, because that's just not sustainable. Not sustainable at all. There we go. There, see, we can figure out how to make this nice without letting Whirly escape. Oh wait, Orly would escape from there. <laughs> we can figure out how to make this nice without letting Orly escape, and then I make an escape route, like, immediately. For shame, Siri. There we go, and then we can just do this. Another non-escape route. Decorative touch. Uh, we can even put another one up here. And up here. And up here. See, and we've got some nice decoration, but Orly can't get out. It's all good, it's all good. And then we come over here. Whirly, I hope you know how many of my precious leaves that take me forever to gather I am sacrificing for your new pig enclosure. All right, let's see, jump, jump, jump. But yeah, and actually, um, I do want to move more to take advantage of what's going on in the beautiful mountains I live in before we move in August. So. Uh, but the, at the same time, I can't go on the trails every day because I need to work. So I'm figuring out really the good balance between heading out on the trails uh, a couple days a week, like two or three days a week, and even just going to the local park. Because it's not completely safe to go all by your lonesome. <laughs> like, it's not exactly the safest thing in the world to just be like, I'm going on to the mountain trails without telling anybody. That's not what you should do. Really, are you still in here? Yeah, thank goodness. I was like, no way. Did the pig just escape like two seconds into having its exhibit? Because I was going to be a little bit disappointed in my build skills <laughs> if I made the pig escape that quickly. All right. Watch out, pup pups. Watch out. I'm going to put like a little waterfall over over here for Whirly. Um, let's see. Let's see, I can put this right there. Okay, Whirly could potentially escape right there. So then we have to put a leaf. A dedicated dedicated whirly blocking leaf see and then we can do that and that haha -ha! so whirly has like a little a little canopy whirly i am spoiling you with my hard-earned leaves you have no idea how much iron this chews up making these leaves oh whirly aren't you a spoiled pig look at this exhibit yes 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 all right watch out whirly Scoot your curly butt. All right. Wow, that's not bad just for jumping in. Hi, Whirly. But yeah, um, it is really, it is really interesting to try to like tackle everything that I want to do in a day, like to go hiking and to do gardening and chores and cleaning. And I just, it's amazing how that no matter how much I do, I always feel like I kind of failed because I didn't do all the things. And I hope you guys aren't hard on yourself. That kind of leads into what I wanted to talk about today, which was a little bit more on what Poet was talking about the other day in his Time Shot episode about perception of yourself and the perceptions we have of ourselves. And my perception of myself is definitely skewed, even though, like, I guess on paper I do so much, and I hesitate to even say that because it doesn't feel right to, like, say it. It's like, no, I don't do that much. But, like, if you talked with people, who know me and who see what I do on a daily basis, they'd be like, yeah, you, it's like Siri does a lot. And I would be like, no, not really. I don't, I don't do a lot because I always make to-do lists that are 8 million times 
too big to actually get done. <laughs> so then instead of going like, oh yeah, I do, I do a lot uh, of stuff and looking at everything that I get done, my perception of myself is that I'm very lazy because <laughs> I haven't done like items uh, Z1, like A through Z and then Z1 on my to-do list. So uh, that's kind of, and I was thinking about that. I was thinking about that after Poet talked about it and I'm like, why is my perception of myself really that I'm like this lazy, never getting anything done kind of person, when really, if you look at it, I'm actually pretty, pretty busy and pretty successful at, at what I do in, in paper terms. Hmm. I don't know if I have the answer yet. I thought I would be able to come in and start talking and the answer would come to me. Oh, Whirly, you're exhibit two. It's looking so good. It's looking so good, Whirly. I'm going to get you lots and lots more, um, lots and lots more water. I wish I knew where my other buckets went. There you go, little guy. No. <laughs> He's like, I'm just going to casually try to escape the little pin you just made me. No, Whirly. Stay. It's safe for you in there. Hmm. All right. Hello, chick chick. There's some more. Is that water? Ugh. Let's take this water. There we go. Oh, thank you! <laughs> it looks like the puppy laid the egg. That was awesome. But, um, it's interesting, because often when people talk about their perceptions of themselves, they constantly compare themselves to other people, and then they have a bad perception of themselves because they're comparing themselves to other people. But actually, I realized when I was thinking about before recording today, that I think my perception of myself gets better when I compare myself to other people because I'm nicer to myself. I start going, oh, wait, <laughs> this person who I really respect and I really think very highly of gets this, this, and this done in their day and they consider that to be a successful good day. Maybe I could consider myself not to be a failure for the day just because I did this, this, and this. Like I only got these things done and not my entire like absolutely ridiculous to-do list, maybe if I respect this person and they only did this many things in their day, it means that I deserve respect and that I'm not a bad person for only doing this many things in my day. So I'm really beginning to latch onto that and that's kind of why I have been less strict with myself um, on how many things I record every day lately because part of what has pushed me to record as much as I have uh oh that's a baby zombie oh my gosh he came right into my house no i take your flesh and give it to my children now <laughs> that's not creepy at all but what's happening oh close that door mellow meadow wax turkey tail good job guys they are safe inside i love the little garden they've got started we'll have to put some trees down in here uh as long as the trees are like heavily torched up so they don't you know spawn anything in there but yeah, so it's, I, I think when people say, don't compare yourself to others, you should take that with a grain of salt, because actually comparing myself to others recently has helped me start being nicer to myself. It's helped me realize if I love and respect this person, then I should treat myself with like that much attention, that much respect. Watch out, pup pup. I'm going to try, oh, yay, Whirly, you have your own tree now. I was going to put these azures in here for you, Whirly, but I think maybe you deserve some tulips instead. Are you a, a zombie villager or a normal villager? I need to see your face, sir. A oh, normal villager. Or a normal zombie, I mean. Alright, yeah, we'll clear him out. He didn't even have the courtesy to drop his flesh for us. How rude. How rude. But, yeah, so like I said, take it with a grain of salt when people say don't compare yourself to others ever because uh, you're your own unique person and you are your own unique person but sometimes we're way too hard on ourselves I know that I definitely am um, and so like if you compare yourself to others think of the way that you are nice to others and that you'll hear that a lot too is that people are often much nicer and easier on others than they are to themselves and that's one of those things where, like, you know, I've kind of always laughed and been like, yeah, haha, that's so true. But I've never really taken it to heart. And just recently I've started taking it to heart. Because just recently I've 
really, 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 really grown into the idea. Let's see, are we in my flower field? Flower forest, almost. I think I need to be on this side because it changes. Yeah, now we're on the plains. Okay, I'm, where am I now? Still the plains. I need tulips, so I don't know if that's going to be... Let's see what happens if we smack the full meal. Okay, got some alliums. I need lots of tulips. That's what we're going for here. I love my flower forest. But yeah, now I'm just babbling. But basically, if... Like, it's not a terrible thing to compare yourself to others if it gives you context. If it gives you the ability to uh, not always be nice and easy on yourself. Sometimes there is the appropriate time to really have to bite the bullet on things and make yourself do something. Let's see, where on earth are the tulips supposed to spawn? I'm getting awful close into creeper and other monster territory. Hey, back off. Get away from me. My gosh, she's just taking all the hits because of that armor. It's a good thing this is an affinity bow. Oh, shoo. I collect thy flesh to give to my children. That's like my, my new conversational piece to the zombies when I'm fighting them. I feed thy flesh to my kids. Well, I really hope Mellow, like, Meadow Mellow Wax is not actually eating the zombie flesh. Mm. Maybe I should speak with her and see what she... You know, maybe before just forking over the flesh of the undead to my child, I should speak with her about what purpose she wishes to use it for. Do, 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 do. Let's light this place up a little more. Oh my gosh, everybody's dressed out. Everybody's like dressed to the nines today in Zombie Land. Oh, hello, guys. Oops, didn't mean to smack you with it. At least my dogs are going to get you now. All right, puppies, you guys work on that while I collect flowers. <laughs> I mean it, and actually, like, I've recently found that for the first time I've been watching a lot of vlogging YouTubers, and I've never done that before. I didn't really even know that was a thing until some of the Let's Players that I follow uh, started vlogging, and they talk about vlogging channels, and I looked more into it, and I was like, oh, this is actually a thing. Kind of how I was oblivious to the fact that Let's Playing was a thing, like a career thing, until... <laughs> Till I started like doing it. I actually was making videos like for let's plays before I even knew it was a thing that people do to earn money and, and make a living. Wee hi pup pups. Come on, tulips. Where the heck? Maybe I need to go somewhere special for tulips to spawn. Frustrating. I guess I guess azure little azure things it is for the pigu. Because I only gathered a few tulips. Hmm. Oh my, that's like a creeper sinkhole. Yeah, back off, guys. Alright, no tulips. And that was the last of that bone meal that I had available, so... Alright, well... Oh, are you kidding me? Like, the tulips are all over here. Are they gonna spawn if I if I smack this area of ground? Oh, I can see where there's a definite change in biome color. Alright, watch out, pup pups. Alright, that got us some nice flowers. You know what, I feel really good after that running around outside. And I, like I've been talking about in some of my vlogs recently, I used to be way too self-conscious to go outside um, and run around like that. I would get way too upset mentally about what people might think of me if they saw me. And so I just, you know, I just wouldn't ever go out. I stayed inside for years and wouldn't go out because I was so scared about what people would think about me. And I regret that now because I probably would be in very different health and because our bodies are the biological organisms that they are, I would probably have been able to sculpt my brain because that's what exercise and that's what all those things do is they physically change the layout of your brain. And who knows how different my mind would be if I had been nicer to myself. If I had gone, do you laugh at people when they go running? No, I don't. I, I don't do that. I don't think anyone should ever do that. So why would I sit there and think that I'm the exception, that I'm, oh, Tulip, finally, that I'm the one that people are going to be mean to. And that's because I just had such a bad self-image and I still struggle with um, getting a clear self-image, I think is how I should put it. Wee, I grew that grass by accident. 
like not I wouldn't say I have a bad self image of myself so where on earth is that the tulip just seems to spawn on the same spot every time watch out pup pups mom's mowing the grass I could use a goat about now watch out pup pups oh it's another tulip okay so it seems to be spawning on this biome for real no now it's not now it's just oxide daisies eh okay got another tulip one tulip per bone mill ratio is not exactly what I consider an acceptable level, but I got enough tulips to decorate, and only one color of tulip, interestingly enough, to decorate the pigu area. So let's go back and see how Whirly's holding up in Whirly's beautiful new home. But yeah, like I was saying about the vloggers, actually what has oddly enough been helping me lately mentally is watching vloggers and somehow, like the, the casual people, you know, the people who are already like through Let's Plays and seeing how they just do their daily things gives me ideas. I'm like, oh, hey, I kind of like that. I would love to try that out. And I don't know how to explain it, but I just feel like if I had seen... Somebody I really liked, like a vlogger who was a nice neutral territory, somebody that I could turn on and turn off whenever I wanted. If I could have seen somebody like that, um, just doing what, like going out on a walk and no one's laughing at them, even though they have a camera that they're like talking into. And if I had seen how happy they were, there's something about being able to watch people like that that makes you feel a little bit more secure, like, like you could try it out. And that's really true because even just since watching some of the vloggers that I like, I've tried out some more things. Like I ordered a special cookbook because I'm like, you know what? That looks like fun. So it's very inspirational. And maybe that just, maybe that's stuff that people who have a larger social network just do anyway, like uh, real life social groups. Maybe that's what stuff that people with real life larger social groups do. But I've never really had like a ton of, a huge real life social group, uh, like network of people that I hung out with and got inspiration from. So I'm really grateful that I'm able to make such a beautiful exhibit. Whirly, what do you think, my dear? Oi, Whirly. Come here, Whirly, I wanna show off how, how happy you are. Oh, is a happy pig. Who's a happy pig in his new exhibit? You are, why do I keep saying exhibit? This is a pen. It's like your house, Whirly, your house. Stay, Whirly. Oh, Whirly, you look happy indeed. But yeah, I, I guess it's interesting to me how watching vloggers is altering my perception of myself because I start thinking, hey, I want to try that out. And it's really interesting how it really is changing my perception of myself in a good way where I start watching people and I go, that looks kind of fun. And I know I, I like that person. And so somehow I get into doing what they're doing uh, in a good way. Like, oh, let's try out making these recipes. Or you know what, that person's really organized. I would like to try to organize my day a little bit better so that I got more stuff done. Or you know what, that person's right. It really is important to watch after your health and I want to be around for my family for a long time. Whoops, sorry, pup pup. So why, why not go outside and run around? No one, no one's going to make me feel bad if I just remember that I'm doing it because I love being outside. And so, yeah, I've gone from somebody who would have been too upset, too ashamed of how I looked, too, um, too sad, uh, to go out and just exercise when, when I wanted to. And exercise is such a weird term. I hate that term. I don't exercise. I went outside and I had fun listening to some music on my phone and kicking a soccer ball up and down the grass next to our apartment complex. And I just ran and kicked and ran and kicked and for fun I was keeping track of how many steps I was going so that I could challenge myself, okay, you can't go back inside, like don't don't give up until you get to this many steps, don't give up till you get to that many steps. And actually when I was younger what I would do uh, to encourage myself when I could work up the courage uh, beyond my, my anxiety to go outside is I would reward myself with like Pokemon or something. Just like you use the Poke Walker to hatch eggs in Pokemon, I would go, okay, you can go outside and do your best and see if you can get like just so many steps and then you can give yourself an Oddish or you can hatch that Oddish egg. I swear, if somebody would redo the Poke Walker, I would be totally enamored and I would totally uh, buy it and I would probably get so fit because I would be walking all the time. Maybe I just need to make... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sorry about that. I had to close the windows because someone started uh, lighting it up outside. And that is very bad for health and birds, especially. But yeah, so this is, again, a bit of a rambly one. But I just really... I'm on to something. I'm on to something with the way that my perception of myself and watching vloggers who I like and then vlogging myself and comparing myself and my life to others in a positive way where I see somebody who likes like cooking like uh, in the little dream I watch a lot of in the little dream because I'm just I'm hooked I don't know I don't know how I could explain it I'm just hooked and so I watch a lot of in the little dream and it's just occurring to me that like I get really inspired when I watch them. Oh my gosh, Lily, you are tromp lump and all over my crops. Look at these poor things. I get really inspired by watching what they do because then I feel like I can get up and I can go and do something fun because that's everyday people, everyday life that I can just like tune in on and hear people chat and see people like clean their house and somehow it makes me want to clean my house and it's normal people to me too it's it's my my group if that makes sense other youtubers i'm not comparing myself like to them in terms of like well you know i'm like i'm like some of the yogs cast members no 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 i'm saying it's other other youtubers there's a zombie oh yeah we have to kill that zombie i totally forgot we need to go mining for gold soon but it's like comparing myself to a group that i'm familiar with and i feel comfortable among and and then seeing them do everyday things there's a lot of like the the people who call them like they they call themselves vloggers and they like bring home shopping hauls from like Chantel or whatever they're really expensive stores i can't connect with those people or understand those people at all but people who just want to better themselves who are just living their day-to-day -day life who just kind of want to embrace what they're doing i feel like a bit of a, a connection there and it really encourages me to keep going and to keep trying to like figure out my own life and so somehow what I'm trying to say is that in the weirdest little twirled around way watching vloggers and vlogging on my vlog channel myself even though I've barely done it um, makes me feel connected to a bigger community even though I am kind of by myself in our little mountain home which is awesome other than darling of course and makes me compare myself in a good way so that I can see what I love about life and what I want to do in life. So, um, I don't know if that made any sense with the discussion of perception of self, but I can feel my perception of myself changing when I watch these people. And I wonder why that is. I wonder how that can have such a powerful effect. Uh, I wonder what kind of effect it would have had on me when I was a lot younger, if any effect. Maybe I was too dark too deep into a sense of self-loathing and self-hatred when I was younger to have gone oh well this person who I really like is going on a walk and they say tweet me pictures of going on your hike and I really like them and if they're comfortable enough to go on a walk then maybe I can be comfortable enough to go on a walk I don't know if I would have been able to do that maybe not but I think it's really interesting how I'm beginning to pull away from that mentality of uh, it's bad to compare yourself to others and I'm beginning to realize that comparing yourself to others isn't a way to put yourself down it's a way of being able to find the common bonds that you both enjoy and it's a way to be able to better yourself um, better yourself is the wrong word it's a way to be able to enjoy yourself more so that you can see what people enjoy out of life and you can give it a whirl and and also it's a way to be nicer to yourself because you can compare yourself to your best friend in terms of like, well, how much does she do? I know she's not lazy and I know that she works hard, but I know that she finds it really important to take one day off a week to just relax with her family. And I feel like that would be important for me too. That kind of comparing yourself to others, I think, is, um, it could be pretty productive. It could give you a sense of peace. At least it gives me a sense of peace. So, with the sun setting and the rambling, <laughs> ramble, ramble, <laughs> completed, and Whirly has a new exhibit, uh, exhibit, I keep saying exhibit, Whirly has a new home, Mellow Meadow Wax and Turkey Tail are still safe, and I have planted a ton more potatoes. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable with, uh, with where we have left things for the day, and I hope that I've given you guys something to think about, um, 
just in terms of it's not always a bad thing to compare yourself to others if it leads you to a path of, of lightness in your heart. If it makes you go, I, I want to try that. If it makes you go, I treat this person kindly and I should treat myself kindly too. Even when you think you don't deserve it. Even when you're like, no way, Jose, I don't deserve to be nice to myself. I'm a lazy, no good, nothing. But that's probably not as true as you think it is. It's only as true as you think you're, you're, the people you look up to are a lazy, no good, nothing, <laughs> I guess. So, rambly, 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 but it's been on my mind ever since Poet talked about perception and what is your perception of yourself, and I realized that it's actually been healthier for me lately to compare myself to others because it has made me be able to look at their joy in life and compare my life to them and then go, I think I could have that joy too. So I hope you guys can find your joy. I hope if you do end up uh, with comparisons to others and things like that, it's in a good way. And it can just help you grow. It can help you appreciate other people more. It can help you appreciate your position in life more. And it can help you have a path to bring more joy into your life. So, Siri, little rambling talk done, and next time we'll have to go get some gold so that we can uh, escort my newest child into the half-finished treehouse that's actually looking pretty cool. <gasps> oh my goodness! They come! Any, anybody, any new, any new members of the family? No? Really? Okay, fine. Dogs! Two arms, dogs! Hmm. And it doesn't look like we have any new members of the family just yet coming by. So sad. So sad. Oh my, but tonight is really a Zombino night. My goodness. <laughs> this is actually a great way with my dogs to just easily end up harvesting a ton of, of like zombie flesh while we wait to see if we have any more applicants. Oh, don't knock down my door, you rude goose bucket. Rudy Rude McRudson just knocked down the door to my house over there. Rude! Alright, I'm going to take care of these guys and I will see y'all next time. Remember, at least, I mean, come on, you could, there's lots of ways to compare yourself to others. At least you're not a zombie, right? Exactly.